look at the view for today's vid. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rick May. I like to make college and lifestyle vlogs. Feel free to hit that subscribe button anytime during the video and you can join the gang. If you want to see more of me or ask me questions or just talk to me, you just go ahead and follow my Instagram. I am more than willing to talk to you guys. So yeah, go ahead and follow me there. But the point of this video is, I am going to be answering your guys' questions about college specifically. So the first question is, what grade are you in and what's your major? I may have caused confusion about this in my past videos, but academically, I am a junior at Kennesaw State University and I am majoring in business management with a minor in marketing. But socially, I am a freshman first year based on my age. I graduated high school with my associates, which caused me to have too many credits to be counted as a freshman. So I I am a junior if I want to go to let's say an event or join a club and it always asks me like oh like what grade are you in I always put first year of freshman so I get grouped with people my age if it didn't clear things up I apologize honestly I still get confused about it sometimes next question is what are things I need to know before choosing roommates oh my goodness this is the one thing that i cannot stress enough do not be afraid to ask personal questions and do not be afraid to reject anyone that you think is not the right fit you are allowed to be picky with who you choose to live with ask personal questions and i mean like personal ask them do you plan on partying do you plan on like how often do you plan on having people stay over even ask them like their interests ask them personal questions so you can get a good understanding of who they are as a person and if that person is gonna be someone that you you can picture yourself living with and then this is kind of like after you establish roommates either if you can meet up with them I would I would recommend to meet up with them to see if y'all click or not but if you can't meet with them then I would definitely talk on the phone discuss things that you're comfortable with and your expectations for the house especially who's gonna bring what on moving day how y'all are going to do cleaning how you're going to distribute groceries house rules all of that and then once you discuss everything I would definitely recommend to type up or write up an agreement with set clear rules have everyone agree on it and then everyone sign it put it up somewhere on the fridge hang it up hold each other accountable to it and respect the rules to prevent any future conflict that is something that me and my roommates did not do which I wish that we did do it would have prevented a whole lot of stuff so definitely 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 do that I'm speaking from experience so so the next question is, should I get into a relationship my freshman year of college? Can y'all hear that? ASMR. Oh, sis. Or bro don't plan it don't anticipate it if it happens it happens but that doesn't mean to not go on dates because i have a lot of friends that go on dates casually it may not be a serious thing but they are just experimenting and finding out what they want and what they don't want in, in a relationship which is completely normal just finding stuff out about yourself so the next question is how do you handle drama mm. very simple answer don't simply just don't deal with it but i know things happen so if you are involved in drama or you do get yourself into a situation listen to what the other person has to say and then make sure that you speak how you feel about the subject or the disagreement and if both of you can't resolve the problem then just simply remove yourself from that situation if you're an adult now you have responsibilities you have other things to do y'all can't be adult enough to get over your issues then just take what happened learn from the situation and move forward and if that person is still like bugging you or still being petty just simply stop responding stop stirring the pot and if that doesn't work you can always just block a person honestly you have so many things going on that you don't have the physical or mental capacity to deal with that crap so just don't deal with it period the next question is have you ever had an embarrassing moment in class oh 
This literally happened to me last week, guys. I don't get embarrassed easily at all. Like, I really don't care what people think about me. But there was this one time. It was actually the first day of class of the semester. First of all, I was late and I looked disgusting. I didn't have time to get ready in the morning. A big t-shirt and then I threw on like pajama pants. I walk into this class. There's over 100 students in this class. Everyone's already seated and everything. And I show up there so disorganized and I put my stuff down on the desk in the middle of the lecture as it's pitch quiet and the song driver license by olivia rodrigo started playing off my phone just to remind you that i am in a class full of juniors and seniors which are probably like 20 something year olds me being 18 straight up in there late interrupts the whole class and starts playing driver's license everyone was staring at me i was so embarrassed and the fact that I was late to like everyone's already looking at you so it just makes everything worse. The next question Is college really worth it? Oh my god. The real question is are the buses interrupting me or am I interrupting the buses? Anyway, pull up in my I'll smile for the gram. The next question is, do you have a part-time job? Yes, I actually just landed my first marketing and communications gig for a local lacrosse club team. It is the perfect job for me. It's exactly what I want to get into, kinda. It is a really good resume builder. It aligns with my schedule. There's good pay, so like, what else can a girl ask for, you know? The next question is, how do you plan your schedule? So. For most universities, they will have classes that meet on specific days of the week. So let's say a class meets on Monday and Wednesday, and then another class meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or there's a Tuesday and Thursday schedule. I like to have as much free time as possible. So I keep my schedule strictly on Tuesday and Thursdays. I don't have to go back onto campus numerous times throughout the week, which gives me the rest of the week to do whatever, whenever. And honestly, it's probably the best for me because my ADHD does not let me stay the next question is is it easy to make friends in college without being in a sorority i got a lot of different questions about making friends the best way to make friends is to just put yourself out there have an open mind have an open heart be open to any conversation talk to your neighbors in class talk to the people in line start conversation i know it's very hard especially the pandemic happening it's been extremely difficult for people to make friends during this time we had to put so much more effort to establish relationships with people more than normal if it was in a different circumstance you really Really just have to go outside of your box get involved on campus go to campus events join clubs and organizations that you're interested in one thing that one of my most favorite teachers ever would always tell me you will attract friends who are like you in other words is that you will find yourself being attracted or befriending people who have the same hobbies and morals that you do literally my best friends that I have now in college they reached out to me through DMs and one of them I met through a girl who bought shoes for me you can find your best friends in the weirdest situations. The next question is, why didn't you live on campus your first year? Honestly, money. Living on campus your first year isn't required at KSU. And I really didn't feel like buying the meal plan and having to spend so much on the meal plan because some people don't use all of their meal plan or dining dollars, so it gets wasted. I know some people prefer to live on campus for the college experience. I still have same college experience dorm-wise because I had roommates also my first semester basically I'm trying to get to is I want to get the best bang for my buck pretty much are classes as hard as high school teachers make it to be I know some high school teachers can be a little bit over dramatic when it comes to college classes especially because they lived in a different era than we did they didn't have all the access to all of these cool internet programs and like things being at the tip of their fingers so whenever they express their college experience it's going to be different from your college experience but as far as college being as hard as they say it is it really just depends on the professor that you have for example this semester i have two teachers that are completely opposites and i mean like east to west like they are on two opposites 
two opposite sides of the spectrum. One of them is a bulldog. He is an extremely hard grader. He has no mercy. He doesn't use a textbook and has extremely hard tests based off of what he teach. And his assignments are super freaking hard. Whereas my other teacher is equivalent to a kindergarten teacher. Basically holds our hand the entire semester. I say to just be prepared for either sides of the spectrum. The next question is, is college really worth it? What if it's not for me? Something that I do want to touch on is that college is very expensive. For most people, they have to pay out of pocket or they're going to be in debt for the rest of their lives paying off school. If you do decide to go into a field or to go into an occupation that requires you to get a degree, is to give it your all and don't slack because at the end of the day, that's going to be your money going down the drain if you fail a class or if you have to retake stuff. Don't go to college for the purpose of finding friends or partying. Go to college for a purpose and then don't slack off. Just give your all and really work for it. Yeah, just don't slack, bro. But also if you're not sure if you want to go to college, a lot of people kind of overlook is that college and education will always be there, will always be provided. So if you truly do not feel like college is meant for you, take your time, try new things, find out what interests you and what you're compassionate about. Find out if you are willing to make that big commitment to college and a lot of people overlook how much of a commitment that college is. So yeah, just be smart. The next question is a very common question is how do you manage your time? So the most important factor is to set your priorities so like for me first I set my priorities and then I base my schedule around that let's say that I'm making health a priority and I choose a time of the day to go work out every day and that time is 5 o'clock p.m. every single day besides one day of the week I won't plan anything at 5 o'clock p.m. on those days and you commit to one hour a day to prayer or journaling or meditation or let's say working or having friends is a priority you would do the same exact thing you would designate specific times or days to those people or to that job and then once you set priorities for yourself list 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 i cannot stress this enough i don't know where i would be without my list i might sound a little crazy but i have a monthly calendar hanging on my wall that i put like really big dates on there and then i have a weekly calendar for everything that i have to get done for every single day of the week and then i have like a daily to-do list planner that i list out every single thing that i have to do for the day like either on a notepad or on your notes i would put like wake up make bed brush teeth it is a note it's like sounds stupid or whatever but that's generally what i do to manage my time it's like a scientific fact that if you're organized then it's supposed to reduce your stress levels or maybe it's vice versa where if you're messy cluttered and unorganized then it increases your stress levels or something i don't know it's it's something around that sort basically i'm trying to say is if you're organized and prepared then your mind is organized and therefore it makes you a happy and stress-free you i got a little bit carried away with questions i've been talking forever and i'm literally going to be late to my class so that is all that i have for you guys today um, if you want me to do a second video about college questions just dm me or comment down questions below but i gotta go so i love y'all so much thankful for y'all and i hope you guys have a great day bye